Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and I am so smiley because once again we're back with one of my most wholesome families I have ever played in The Sims 4. It is of course our Growing Together family and today is actually egg day. It's our first egg day, I'm fairly sure. At least our first egg day with children. So I am assuming this is going to be very exciting. We have two toddlers that are going to be throwing them around the house. Let's be real. And speaking of house, we have just moved in to our brand new home. Thank you to every single one of you who voted in the last part as to what house you actually wanted to move into. I'm just very, very excited to show you all where we're at right now. So this is the house that I decided to move into. It is actually Jenny's house. However, I have taken some ideas from Nicole and sort of like incorporated the two together because as we all know, I was obsessed with the way that these big windows looked and it seems that a lot of you were exactly the same. A lot of you were like, oh, I really love elements from like both houses. I wish we could just do like a mashup of the two. Lo and behold, I managed to do it. So this is where we are currently living. Whilst everyone is asleep, I will give you a cheeky little tour. So you walk in through the front door and I have changed the downstairs to kind of represent Nicole's house a little bit more because I just thought the whole layout was just absolutely beautiful. And it also made the house feel so much bigger, even though I actually didn't even change a tile in this. Like I didn't add any extra tiles. I didn't take anything away. I just knocked down some interior walls and rebuilt and obviously like added in a couple more rooms, which is just so, so good. It actually feels like a renovation. So over here we have like the kitchen area. I decided to go for like a round table just because I think it fits like, you know, us throwing parties, having a big family come around and stuff like that. The living area is pretty much the same as Nicole had it. I just kind of made this little gallery wall and I put the kids little baby prints up the stairs. Obviously, if we do have a third child, I doubt theirs is gonna fit here. So we may have to move these elsewhere. I don't want the third child feeling as if they're left out. I'm definitely gonna have like this bit. I need to delete this, but I'm absolutely gonna have this bit as like a little kids play area. I obviously need to get more rugs and make this a little bit more inviting, add some like pictures all around and things like that. But we're pretty low on funds right now because this was actually technically out of my budget, but I I just imagine that they got like a mortgage on it or something like that. And it wasn't actually like too far out of their budget, but I think it's realistic enough. We have a bathroom down here. This is currently just like a spare room slash little very uninspiring office for Leah, but she does have this gorgeous big window out the front. So it's not all bad, you know? Then this is a little guest room. I basically set this up for anyone who wants to stay here. They have their own little like ensuite bathroom, which I love. And then then you go up the stairs. We obviously have this little seating area, little games console over here. Walking through, we have Leah and Jude's bedroom. Jude currently is asleep. Things still look bare right now. Like I obviously wanna make this feel more lived in as time goes on, like get a little collection of books, get maybe like a little reading lamp, like all of that. It really depends on like hobbies that these two pick up and things. This is their room for now. This is a little like seating area out here. I absolutely love this. I actually plopped Leah's rocking chair down here, which I know it doesn't look like an outdoor chair, but I can imagine her like making a coffee and like coming to sit here in the morning. And I just think that's really cute. So I went with it. We have Lil Sage's room, which originally did have like a big poster up here and like a bunk bed. I probably will get him bunk beds in the future, but for right now, all he really needs is a toddler bed. He's got his own little bookshelf and stuff. And then this is a little Rosemary's room. Obviously in the last part, I was like, oh, I can kind of maybe see her being a vet in the future. A lot of you actually suggested a marine biologist, which I think is sick. Like I can very much imagine that. And it seemed as if Jenny kind of had the same idea because she has this little water feature down here. But Leah is the only one who's awake right now. And apparently the spring spirit has awakened in her. Call her Lenore Spring Awakening because geez, 
Louise. She's out here watering pretty much every single one of Jude's plants. I don't know what made her actually do this, but she started working on her gardening skill a little bit, which is so funny to me. How long? 53 days. I'm definitely gonna age these two up before 53 days. Like, there is no doubt about it. I'm so glad we have frugal on him. Do we have frugal on her as well? Yeah, okay. I imagine the bills on this place are gonna be a lot more expensive than the bills in our last place. Colorfully painted eggs are hidden throughout your yard. Gotta collect them all. To participate, click on objects in world and select hunt for egg. So we can obviously do this in like some of the flower beds. I don't know if we can, can we do it in like our Nope, don't harvest them. That is Jude's forte. Bushes and things like that, and also cupboards. You can actually go hunting for eggs. So we are gonna do that. I'm gonna have Jude work from home. We need to just like make a flower arrangement. He's so close to getting a promotion. He just needs to reach level eight in the flower arranging. Like I don't know why this is so difficult for this boy to do, but it does look like he is awake. So let's go use this. Oh my God, you can hunt for eggs in the toilet. Rosemary is about to be living her best obsessed with water life. Oh my God, the fact that she's like obsessed with water and she now has like a little water fountain. Jenny really said, I am gonna put my whole plumbussy into this build and I'm gonna make it so catered for your Sims Molly. Honestly, so impressive. So take a thoughtful shower as well. They're gonna be playing video games all of the time, which is slightly annoying because they've never really been a family who have like watched a lot of TV. Like they'll watch like a film every now and again, but they really like are hands on with one, the kids and also very hands on with like their hobbies and careers and stuff. So they kind of never really focused on TV whatsoever, which is honestly quite nice. Cause I feel like so many of my Sims do focus on TV. Love how the kids are still sleeping. It's like 8 a.m., almost 9 a.m. It's also egg day. You would think that these two would be running around going wild by now, but no. They just wanna catch up on their sleep, which is all good with me. Ooh, speaking of the kids, he actually got himself a little toddler quirk. He's apparently destructive. I don't really know if I wanna keep that. I think you can change the toddler quirks through like shift clicking. It doesn't really fit him, I don't think. And he only got it from playing in a bookshelf, which I think is a bit weird if you ask me. Uh-oh, toddlers with this quirk often behave like little monsters who take pleasure in chaos they leave behind in their way. I mean, I kind of love it, but I just don't know if I see it for Sage. So we'll just have to wait and see if I wanna keep it. I feel like I should probably grab another little potty for these two and just like place it up here. Cause I feel like having one upstairs and having one downstairs is absolutely the best idea because we all know that you definitely get potty overload. So I think we'll just go for like this little orange one in here because now they don't have to like walk all the way downstairs. Oh, actually, whilst I'm in build mode, I may as well do something else that I wanted to do. So obviously it is egg day. You know what resembles a bunny in this game. We obviously can get them a little wab tab. We are gonna plop these downstairs actually. I don't know if we can gift to toddlers. If we can't, we will just like pass them to them and then we'll get this little black one for sage. Why do we not have a sage green one? Do you not realize how sage green this family are Sims? Like I need sage green in every single object, please and thank you. That's not just me talking as a lesbian, although that is kind of true too. Oh, stop it. They're having breakfast on the balcony. <gasps> Why do I love them? This is exactly what I imagined to happen. No, girly, girly, girly. Just like, don't even take that plate. Like it's all good. Oh, she just plopped it like on the floor. Put it in your inventory for now. I don't care. Go sit down here because we do actually have some things. Well, one thing that we want to give to Jude. Jude, you can carry on eating your breakfast, buddy. And then we will definitely blow Let's flirt with him. We're gonna have a little romantic breakfast on the balcony. This is so freaking cute. Grace asked me out on a date. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you know who I wish would ask you out on a date? Fecking bloody 
Knox. How about that? Heavy sleepers won't wake up as easily from surrounding noises, are less likely to wake up from nightmares and have an easier time getting a good rest. I mean, that sounds exactly like Sage. He just slept for like a good 12 hours. But I did say that Leah also had a little gift for him. So uh, romantic? Well, it's slightly romantic. I know I go on about like their hobbies all the time and things like that, but I do feel like they're very like two inspired people. So she knows that like he wants to get a little bit fitter for the kids and obviously she has been doing yoga an awful lot. So she actually bought herself a new yoga mat just to treat herself, you know, new house, new yoga mat, new me. But we also bought a matching one for Jude, which I just think is so cute. They have little matching couples yoga mats that they can uh, now use together. So this is the perfect yoga mat. I imagine them like starting to go to classes together and stuff. I think that could be so, so fun. Is it love day or am I just in love with you? Oh, he's buzzing about it. He's like, oh my God, I can't believe you guys are matching ones. That's so flipping cute. Their sentiments. I swear, these two must have so many sentiments towards each other. Yes. They do. We have picnic bonding, a jamtastic gift. Jude remembers fondly of receiving a gift from Leah. He was encanned. It reminds me of I was enchanted to meet you and it gives me the ick every single time because of Owl City's response to that song. Like it physically ruined Enchanted for me. If you didn't know, I got tickets to the Eras tour. I know, I'm not gonna stop going on about it. I'm gonna try and restrain myself from mentioning it in every video until like next summer when it actually happens. I straight up admitted the other day, my toilet break will be during Enchanted and I have absolutely no qualms with that whatsoever. We're also deeply connected and you are my jam. So many feelings can fit into a small jar. Giving it to Leah makes Jude hot. Flutter. I love you both so much. The flower bunny. Oh my God, we're gonna have to wake her up. Girly, get up. She's gonna use the toilet really quickly as well. Go potty, go potty, go potty because we have to meet the flower bunny. Oh my word. Where are you off to, Mr. Flower Bunny? We are gonna go do a cheerful introduction. Oh, Picky eater? What the hell is going on with these toddler quirks? They're just like not what I wanted. No, I don't wanna go there. I really don't want him to have these. I genuinely am gonna remove that one because it's just giving me like the most ridiculous ones. Like I really don't care about what he eats. I'm not even gonna lie. Is the flower bunny even talking? Does the flower bunny talk? Not gonna lie, he's a bit ominous, isn't he? Well, no, we're not gonna ask the flower bunny about its love life. <laughs> Is he gonna go work on the, yeah, of course. Why does it keep giving me picky eater? Right, I'll just keep it for now because I'm just gonna keep getting it. It's bizarre. I swear, toddler quirks, not broken, but like, I don't know what's triggering that. Cause like, he's happy. So I don't know why he would be considered a picky eater because he's just trying to eat. And it's also super annoying cause they never ever wanna like eat anything. <gasps> Should we recruit the flower bunny as a product tester? I I do feel as if he would be quite honest. I mean, how could you not trust that face, you know? And then let's tell a dramatic story. Ooh, communication level three. Go on, dude. Continue talking to that stranger. Show a little toy to him. Can we not like ask for eggs or anything? How are you? Okay, she's finally coming down the stairs. We definitely need to grab out some food so she can have some. But again, she's a picky eater, so it's not even gonna matter. Oh, the way that he's looking up at the flower bunny. I mean, it is a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie, dude. You are definitely way more calm than I feel. Actually, I would have loved this. You all know that my niece was absolutely terrified. Well, you might not know this, but I have talked about it before. My niece being absolutely terrified of animals who were dressed up. Like Disney was not the best place on earth. It was actually the most horrifying place on earth for her. So I feel, oh no, Sage isn't loving it that much. Sage is like, oh, I don't know if you're like scaring me or if you're actually like a friend and I should like hug you or not. Ugh. Actually, from this angle, I get it, Sage. Pretty 
freaking ominous if you ask me. Especially when you are such a tiny, tiny little human. His little voice, I freaking can't. Quite literally, I feel one of the cutest kids I have ever ever had in like The Sims 4 lifetime. I feel like we need to get them like all together in a group once Rosemary's actually taken care of her needs and throw like a little egg hunt for them like in the garden. He has obviously gone out for a little jog again with the one and only asparagus and right as we say that there's a freaking earthquake. Gotta love living in San Sequoia. <laughs> Leah's terrified. Leah's like, oh my God, not again. This is it. <laughs> Wait, are they both freaking out over the earthquake? Like, oh, I'm freaking out over this. What the heck? No, don't like that. He's so sad. Stranger danger, new person alert. How about we kick off the egg hunt? He's gonna go get the first one and she's obviously gonna be pissed about that. So she's gonna be like, no, I want the first one and like run because she can go faster than him. <gasps> it's actually happening. Like she's just like straight up like, lol, I'm gonna beat you. Sucks to be a baby. And then she also, has like more places to hunt as well. Ooh, oh my word. She didn't even hesitate. She was like, I got one. Oh, was there not one there? How about you go check in your favorite place ever, the toilet? Whilst little Sage is obviously with his name, gonna continue looking in the uh, plants. He's like, it's my namesake. It has to bring me luck. I, he's not really saying that. He's a toddler. He doesn't have thoughts as cohesive. I was gonna say as mine, but honestly, sometimes feel like there's a toddler brain up there. Not very wrinkly at all, if you ask me. I should probably have these two like hunt for eggs as well. It feels harsh that the kids just like get to do it all. I want the whole family on board. She can actually look in there. Can we look in here for them? Oh my God, we can. Did you find one in your toilet? I hope so. I don't think she actually did. Why don't you come check all all of the kitchen. Oh uh, my word, Sage is on like four. We're gonna go to five and we're gonna see who uh, finds the most. I definitely, I wanna do it like out of the toddlers cause I just think it would be fun to have like a little competition set up. But of course they're both gonna get Wabbit tablets. We are not choosing favorites here. Uh, why is there just a random bluebell on the floor? Is that from like the flower bunny? Does he just spawn like flowers around? I have clearly never played egg day correctly because I honestly I don't really get the bunny that often like he usually never spawns on my lot so I'm assuming that these are just like from him and he's just like spreading the flowery delight which is actually really really cute Sage how you doing buddy uh, why don't you, Ah, oh, that's already been looked in. Did she look in all of these? She's literally taken all of the places. I say as if I wasn't the one who actually made her do all of that. Oh, no, wait, it's 5 p.m. Okay, so Sage has one, two, three, four, five, six. And then little Rosemary has one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a draw. Oh my word, it's like I predicted it. Oh, stop, this is so, so cute. He's like, oh, for me, I get a big present. These kids are gonna think that they get like presents all the time on egg day. It just so happens that I wanted them to have Wabbit tablets. And like, I felt like because it was egg day, it was really like the best day to do it. Please do not get any ideas. It's not gonna be like this every year. I can assure you. Generous surprise. Sage was so happy to get a gift recently from someone and is feeling pretty special right now. Draw with llama. She's like, like, do I get one, mummy? Where is my gift? Because Sage got one and I, she's full on like asking for money. She's like, where is my gift? Okay, that's fine. You both drew. You also get the same. So we're gonna give you that little wabbit tablet as well. She's a girl who knows what she wants. I'm sorry, she's a toddler and she's out here making diva demands. I've said like from her very first breath, she was a diva and lo and behold, she is. She didn't even look as like happy. 
oh, now she's happy. Okay, she saw it was a Wabbit tablet. She was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take this one for sure. Where is it? Should be in her inventory. She's gonna play some Sim Shape. Is he gonna sit down and like start playing it? Oh my God. I love the way that toddlers are animated. They are so flippin' cute. And he's like talking to Jude as he's doing it as well. Look at his little scribbles. Has he full on like scribbled the freezer bunny on that? Perfection. See, this is what I wanted them to use their Wabbit tablets for is for like getting up like the skills that they want and like creativity and things. But I do think we have one more little trick up our sleeve, one little gift more. I know we're like quickly running out of some Samoans. <laughs> it's okay. These two have very well paying jobs. They will make up their money so quickly. But obviously because like Rosemary was like interacting with rabbits, I don't know why, but I feel like rabbits have like such a weird connection to this family. Like literally if we go upstairs, to Rosemary's room. Where did it go? Oh, it's over here. One of the first things that Jude carved was a little rabbit and she was obviously like petting a rabbit. We had Floof, the dust bunny. So like bunnies play a really, really big role. Usually you can only get these wild rabbit homes from befriending wild rabbits, but I actually just want to like get one for them. So I think if we ignore gameplay and then like I maybe re-enter this we can actually get our own little one because i kind of want some bunnies on the property i want the kids to be able to like interact with them and stuff so we're gonna place it over here our own special i wish that you could just have like rabbits in hutches but i know that they obviously wanted them to feel like a little like nature thing like whilst you were out and about cute and it just looks like old stumpy which we haven't even explored like old stumpy here yet yeah. But boom, we hopefully are gonna start getting some rabbits on our lot with this. So we are gonna try to lure some out, even though the kids are distracted. We kind of just want to test that it works. Not gonna lie, this is kind of there for Leah and Jude as much as it is for the kids. Like, I feel like these two are such big kids' energy. Like, they really throw themselves into holidays. And having kids was kind of just an excuse for them to, like, enjoy the holidays a lot as well which honestly I relate to I feel that like I obviously that's not the reason I want kids but I do feel like I when I become a parent I'm gonna just be like a big kid and have that energy it's a little white rabbit and we'll tell a joke about hopping see if we can actually become friends with it oh it like legit wanted scratches from the get go that's how you know you got a good personality there leah um ooh, we could give them a wooden sculpture or a veggie meal let's try and give them an omelet and see if they actually like that i don't know if rabbits like eggs i don't even know if in real life rabbits can eat eggs jude please don't go upstairs because i actually need you to harvest everything and also water everything these look like they need watering but i don't think they do weirdly oh it does like veggie meals okay animals appreciate variety try offering a different type of gift so we can definitely gift a lot of flowers i'm kind of hoping that these actually really love flowers because that would be so handy considering we have so many of them on our lot but these two are still just like living their best life <laughs> they're obsessed this is great. This is exactly, I feel, what we needed. And then obviously, Jude, for your job, you actually do need to make an arrangement. Should we go for like a spring one? I feel like that's very accurate for the day. We could go for like a speckled pink. All right, you cannot ignore your needs for your tablet. <laughs> I know I said that's what I wanted, but like, I also would like you to still take care of yourself, Rosemary. Come on, you are very, very clever. You know when to put the tablet down. The flower bunny wants to become best friends. I mean, that's not surprising. Jude is pretty swell and also... 
He has like the same amount of talent in his fingertips that the flower bunny does, but I'm gonna say no way. I know you can have multiple flower bunnies. I can't believe I just started beef with the flower bunny. First Father Winter was like sniffing our kisses, which by the way, I'm still not over. It's kind of scarred me for life. And now we have beef with the feckin' bunny. Like the bunny looks so disappointed in us. He's like, why me? Is this feckin' like Kyle dressed that wouldn't even surprise me if it was just like Kyle dressed up as the flower bunny and he's like, dude doesn't want to be best friends with me anymore. It's like, no, dude, I want to be best friends with you as Kyle. I just don't want to be best friends with you as the freaking flower bunny. Like, why would I want that? Dude still has his friendship bracelet on, by the way. The one that we traded with Kyle all the way back when in this Let's Play. I cannot believe that that is still like hanging on, probably for dear life at this point me with my Leeds festival wristband when I was like 17 she's a menace she's a menace to drains everywhere her favorite film is definitely flushed away apparently that was a lot of people's favorite films especially uh, bisexual women who have boyfriends who look like the rat Rodney what's he called I just always think of Ratatouille now when I say rat I love how I got a little notification that was like Sage is just a helpless toddler ooh, ooh help me and then he's just like demanding stories from Leah <laughs> like not even a bedtime story he's just like mum I would like another story please and thank you I think she is about to like maybe read him to sleep hopefully although I tried to do this last night and it said that she didn't have anywhere to sit which was a little bit weird I might honestly add the rocking chair like back into his room I don't know why she can't like sit here and read him to sleep or like sit at the end of his bed I don't know if this bed maybe makes it a bit weird to do because of like the roof on it oh no never mind tonight she is actually doing it so that is all good she is tired of rough housing so she is taking herself I told you she's independent Sage is the one who absolutely loves attention which honestly makes me think that I want to give him like maybe keeps heavy sleeper get rid of destructive and then have something that like loves being carried that he kind of had when he was an infant and then also add in the like book lover but I don't actually know if we can do this like I expansion pack growing together toddler quirks add discoverable quirk aggressive early riser hates bedtime hates being carried hates wake up little singer which i kind of want that though as well if i could choose which i can but it's fully up to you lot if you want me to choose i would definitely go for little singer loves books and then maybe loves being carried but i quite like him being a heavy sleeper as well like i don't really mind that one at all but you lot should let me know how you feel about those I just think little singer would be so cute I don't know how you would go about like unlocking it itself maybe like the kid needs to be able to learn to talk and then they can kind of like sing to themselves but I don't think I've ever seen that option like on a toddler so I'm not too sure about that but thank you all so so much for tuning into this part I hope you all enjoyed I feel like I was very like do 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 like I was telling a story in primary school and then we did this and then we did that but there was just a lot that we needed to get done and not gonna lie even though uh, we're getting on better terms with the extended family I gotta say I love it when we strip it back just to these lot like I love when Jude and Leah just spend the day like looking after their kids so I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did and I will speak to you all in the next part bye now